Welcome back family. We're back here at CVS. These deals are going to be starting April 3rd and running through April 9th. I've got a list, but let me tell you, I'm not completely um, prepared. I'm a little bit behind. It's already one o'clock in the morning and I'm just now getting to the store. So we're going to try and get done as much as we can. I'm going to try and show you guys some glitches. We're going to be doing our glitch breakdown worksheet on our iPad. If you want to Grab one from the Etsy shop, you can. I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a minute when we work on a glitch in store. And I wanna let you guys know that we did raise a little bit over $300 for the month of March to help a crazy deals and steals family member in need. I've reached out to the family um, and I'm gonna be sending the funds to them via check in the mail. They don't have PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. So I'm gonna send the funds to them via check in the mail. All the screenshots for all of that jazz is up here for you guys to see. If you guys have not made your April donation yet, please do so via the links in the description box below. You can do so with PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. Um, we have over 40,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so I feel like we should be able to reach a $1,000 goal every single month. If everybody could donate a dollar, that's what I'm asking. If you're able to do so, to give a dollar once a month to help one of our crazy deals and steals family members that's in need. And if you are new here, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below that you're a new viewer or a subscriber. I love to welcome the newbies to the best family on social media. Okay, you guys, if you could smash the like button for me, pretty please. Everybody, please hit the like button for me. It gives me a little boost of courage to keep staying up all night, Saturday night, and the Sunday morning to bring you guys these haul videos. So please hit the like button for me so that I know that you guys are watching and like the videos. Um, and we're going to run inside CVS right now. Also, if you guys missed it, I just posted on the community tab the other day. Kelsey H. is the winner of the $100 gas card for Chevron from Flues. Kelsey, email me at stephanie at sign crazydealsandseals.com. Completely spelled out. You guys do not forget to use your Flues app while you're at CBS tonight. If you still have those 35% cash back offers, grab a $10 CVS gift card and get your 35% cash back on that $10 gift card. There's no reason not to if you've got those vouchers, okay? And I mentioned to you guys last time, Flues is restructuring their voucher program. And I think you guys are gonna like the changes that they're making, so hang tight on that. And now we're gonna get started with CVS. Was the Clairol hair color not 829 just a couple weeks ago? What is going on? So Clairol hair color, buy two, get back a $4 extra buck. So I'm going to grab two of them. I'm going to do this deal on a couple CVS accounts and I'm going to show you guys the glitch process and we're going to do our glitch lesson worksheet. If you already know how to do glitches, just fast forward a little bit. So here's what we've got going. Now we need to remember our glitch process. Yes, my nail is very ratchet. It broke off. We're not going to talk about that though. So CBS glitch lesson and examples. You guys can grab this on the Etsy shop if you want to. The actual worksheet itself is a fillable document so you can type on it on the computer through the Adobe Pro through the Adobe program. If you don't have Adobe, it will work with some other programs. Um, but it's best to try and use it with Adobe. Okay, so remember there's two factors needed for a glitch to work at CVS. All the coupons need a qualifying item to attach to, okay? That's factor number one. Factor number two, your items must cost the same or more than the price of your coupons. So now let's go back and we're gonna pull up our glitch breakdown worksheet. So what are we getting? We're getting Clairol. How many are we getting? We're getting two of them. What's going on with the store sale or promotion? Buy two, get a $4 extra buck. So what are the cost of our items? And here's our coupon. So we've got a $7.99 off two paper coupon from the 327 Smart Source. It's technically um, buy one, get one free, but up to $7.99. So it will take off $7.99. And this coupon will glitch with the buy one, get one free digital coupon that we have also up to $7.99. So that's what we're putting right here in our coupon boxes. Let's answer our question down here. Each item costs the same or more than our coupons. Now, how much of our items? $8.79. How much of our coupons? $7.99. So do our items cost the same or more than our coupons? They do. So the answer is yes, which means we have a glitch. If the answer was no, we would finish this process down here to see whether we had a glitch or not. You can put some notes down here, whatever you need to do. Our total is $17.58 minus our $15.98, which is our buy one, get one free coupons glitching together. We're going to pay you $1.60, get back our $4 extra buck. 
which makes a $2.40 profit on these two items and no CRTs are needed. Also, if you guys wanna grab this on Etsy, included in with this is a couple of glitch breakdown worksheets that I did on the back end um, that you guys can kind of use as examples on why a glitch will or will not work at CBS. You guys can grab a bundle listing and get all the couponing documents from the bundle listing, or you can grab the glitch lesson by itself or the couponing haul breakdown by itself, whatever you guys wanna do. So we're gonna do this deal on two separate CBS accounts and we're gonna have a over $2 profit on each set. Um, now, obviously, if yours are priced cheaper in your store, you're going to get more of a moneymaker. Also, if you do not have this buy one, get one free paper coupon and all you have is the $7.99 off two digital and the $5 off two digital, those will still glitch and work together. Spend 30 on Nexus shampoo, conditioner or styler, get back a $10 extra buck. We're going to have a really hot deal with the Nexus. So let's grab one of these, the Humectress for $11.99 at my store. Then I'm going to run down here and I'm going to grab this Curl Define in this little box. Um, this looks kind of cute. So we're going to grab this for $17.49. So when we add $11.99 and $17.49, our total is $29.48. Now guess what the 98% rule is for $30. It's $29.48. 40 cents. So we have barely met the 98% rule. Make sure your store follows that 98% rule. So we're at $29, we'll say 50 cents. We're going to use two $5 coupons. These came from the 313 Unilever. They did expire 326. If you guys are unfamiliar with how expired coupons work at CVS, let us know down in the comments section below and either myself or Crazy Deals and Steals family member will help you out with that. Family members, if you guys are familiar with how expired coupons work and you see someone commenting, asking, please, please, please let them know how that process goes, okay? So we're gonna use two $5 coupons, one for each item. We're also gonna be using a four off 25 hair care CRT, a $5 Nexus hair care CRT, and guess what? We got a $2 off two Dove hair care CRT instant coupon this week. Everybody got one, I believe. It's working with the Nexus. I don't know why, but it is, and we're not gonna complain about it. So we have $11 worth of CRTs and $10 in manufacturer coupons. So we're gonna pay CBS $8.50, but we're getting back our $10 extra buck. These are gonna be $1.50 profit. Plus, don't forget, this is the last week for the beauty event. We've got 30 bucks right here in beauty items. So we're gonna get back $3 in beauty rewards money at the end of the beauty event week. Tenna adult care products this week are on sale two for $24. We're gonna get these at a stock up price and we're going to be getting a glitch. So let's grab two packs of the Tenna, two for 24. I've got a $4 off $22 adult care CRT. That's gonna come off. I also have a $4 off any adult care CRT. That's also going to come off. Now we're gonna do our glitch breakdown worksheet. So we've got our Tenna. We're grabbing two of them for the deal. The store sale or promotion is two for $24. So that means each item is $12 a piece. So we've got our coupons. We have a $5 off two newspaper coupon from the 4-3 Smart Source. Now this coupon right here is going to glitch with a $5 off two digital coupon that everybody got today. Each item costs the same or more than the coupons. Yes, because our items are 12 and our coupons are only five bucks. So yes, that is true. That means we're going to be getting a glitch. Now remember, on the glitch process worksheet, back here with the breakdown information, remember, glitches do not care about your CRTs, okay? Glitches do not care whether you're using CRTs or extra bucks, it's irrelevant. So after our two $5 coupons are glitching and coming off, plus our $4 off 22 adult care CRT and our $4 any adult care CRT, we're paying $6 total for the both of them, $3 each. So we went down from $15.79 a pack, regular price, to $3 per pack. Plus, I will be submitting to coupons.com, hoping for another $5 back, but again, no guarantee. Another glitch regarding Colgate. So select Colgate $3.99, buy two, get back a $4 extra buck. $3.99 times two, we're at $7.98. We all got today a $3 off two digital coupon. That coupon is going to glitch with a $1 coupon. Now you can either get this coupon, we printed it from inboxdollars.com, where you can get paid to print and use your coupons at the store. 
Don't print coupons for free. You guys can sign up for inbox sellers in the rebate apps section of the description box below. It's totally free to sign up. Um, so this coupon will glitch with the $3 off two digital coupon. We're gonna pay $3.98 for these babies, but we're getting back four bucks. So that makes them free. Or you can also use a $1 newspaper coupon from the 43 Smart Source in place of the printable coupon. Remember, glitches do not care whether you're using a printed coupon or a newspaper coupon. So I'm going to do this deal twice on two separate CBS accounts. I'm also going to be submitting back to coupons.com with my receipt, hoping to get $3 back. No guarantee though, but we will also be getting back for sure extra Fetch Rewards points because as of the last few months, Colgate is partnered with Fetch Rewards. Select Gillette and and Venus razors are buy two, get back an $8 extra buck. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the Gillette babies right here. It's $13.49. Then I'm gonna get this woman's right here for $11.29. So these two items together bring me to $24.78. Now we don't have to spend that much because it's only buy two, get an $8 extra buck, but we're at $24.78 for a reason. So I wanna go ahead and use a $10 off $25 Gillette or Venus Shave CRT. So in order to use that, I need to be at $25 or the 98% rule worth of 25 bucks. 24.78 hits the 98% rule barely. So we're gonna stack that $10 CRT on here. Then I'm gonna be using a $3 manufacturer coupon, one for each of these. Those are digital coupons. If you've already used yours, we do have those same coupons in the April PNG coupon insert. So we're gonna pay $8.78, getting back an $8 extra buck, final cost under a dollar total or under 50 cents per box, which is a great price for these items. Clairol, Colgate, Gillette, and Venus. So we have a glitch confirmation with our Colgate and we have a glitch confirmation with our Clairol as well. So on this account, I had a 32% percent off text CVS CRT. Usually these CRTs do not work on sale items, but this one is. So the trick though with these is you don't want to use extra bucks to pay because if you do, your 32% off amount is going to keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller because this amount is taken off after all of their coupons, CRTs, and extra bucks are applied, which is why I didn't use extra bucks to pay because it would have been pointless to use them and still try and use this. So what did I do to pay? I went ahead and used a Flu's gift cards. I used one gift card up here. It ran out. I used a second, ran out. I used a third. You guys can use multiple Flu's gift cards in one transaction. Yes, that is fine. Yes, it'll work. So here's our glitch confirmation with the Clairol and our glitch confirmation with the Colgate as well down here. So yay on that. We paid a total of $11 plus tax out of pocket, but we got back $8 in extra bucks for the Gillette Venus. We also got back $4 in extra bucks for our Clairol, $4 in extra bucks for the Colgate. So we paid 11, but we got back 16. This deal right here is a $5 profit. Yes, I did submit again to coupons.com for the Clairol and for the Colgate, but not a guarantee I'll get that back. And we're getting back extra fetch rewards points for buying our Colgate. So this is one of my favorite deals of the night. Not only do we have the great deal with the Nexus, but we have the Tenna in here and I have someone that really actually needs these. So we have stock up prices for these items. We have a glitch confirmation with the Tenna. There is our glitch digital right here. And let's see, so we paid a total of 23 out of pocket. This CBS account is an account that I hardly never use. So I was low on extra bucks, but that's okay. I went ahead and used what I had, which was the $7 and the $4. The rest, you guys already know, put that on Flu's gift cards and I'm good to go. So 23 total out of pocket for all the items. We got back 18 in extra bucks, which was 10 for the Nexus and eight for the Gillette Venus. So our total is $5 for all these items, plus extra fetch points for the Nexus. And I did submit four or $5 on coupons.com for the Tenna. Select a Chic and Skin to Mid Disposable Razor. So on sale, $5.99. And when we spend $15, we will be getting back a $5 extra buck. I'm just going to grab three of these packs of the Skin to Mid Disposables. If you only grab two, you're not going to be close enough to $15 to get your extra buck. So we need to grab three. That's going to bring us to $17.97. I've got a $4 off $10 Skin to Mint. Um, disposable razor CRT. We're going to use that. I've got a $2 disposable razor CRT. We're going to use that. So that's $6 in CRTs coming off. We're also going to use three $4 coupons. These were printable coupons from inboxdollars.com. 
They did just expire a couple days ago. So between manufacturer coupons and CRTs, we've got $18 coming off of our $17.97 total. So one of our CRTs will adjust down. That means we're gonna pay zero for these babies, but we're getting back our $5 extra buck. These are gonna be a $5 profit. Select Huggies brand diapers, pull-ups, good nights. Buy one, get one half off. Spend 30, get back a $10 extra buck. I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of the Snug and Dry. So my store is yucky, obviously priced really high. $14.49, buy one, get one half. If we grab three of them, we're at $36 and like 22 cents. I do have a $5 off $30 baby care CRT. Then I'm gonna be using $2.50 manufacturer coupons. These came in the 4-3 Smart Source, one for each bag. We also have a $2.50 digital coupon. So I'm gonna use two of the paper ones um, for each pack. Then that third pack will have the digital coupon to attach to it. So after coupons and CRTs, we'll be paying CVS $23.72, getting our $10 extra buck final CVS costs, $13.72, but we will be getting back a dollar on each pack on Ibotta. Makes now our final cost $10.72 for three packs, plus we're gonna be getting back extra fetch rewards points for these, and I will be submitting my receipt to coupons.com, hoping for another $2.50 back. However, it's not a guarantee because we're already using coupons on these items. So I might get that, I might not, it's not a guarantee. I did the Huggies uh, by itself. So I went ahead and used two $2.50 digital coupons. We popped up with another one today. So I used one paper coupon, two digital coupons, and the five off 30 baby care. The rest are extra bucks. And you guys already know I'm petty Betty. So whatever I owed after extra bucks, I put on a CVS Flues gift card. So including what we paid in extra bucks and on the Flues gift card, we paid $23.50, got back our 10. Um, so final CVS cost is $13.50. Plus $3 came back on Ibotta, a dollar for each pack. So now our final cost is $10.50. We did get back extra fetch rewards points and I did submit my receipt to coupons.com. Not only do we have one $2.50 offer on coupons.com, but we have two. So there is a possibility I'll get back $5 on coupons.com or maybe I'll get $2.50 or maybe I won't get anything. You never know. Any Hallmark items this week or spend 10, get back a $2 extra buck, but I'm gonna make this deal easy. I'm not gonna worry about the extra buck part of it. I'm just gonna grab some items that are gonna be um, really cheapy or free. So I'm gonna grab this card right here. It is $2.99. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these ribbons over here. If you guys didn't know, the Hallmark cards, CRTs do work on the regular Hallmark items in the store. So I'm gonna grab a spool of ribbon for $1.29 and my card for $2.99. So I've got two $2 off two Hallmark cards CRTs. Both of those will stack together. They're not spin threshold CRTs. So they will stack together and I'm gonna end up paying about 28 cents total for both items. Spin 30 on L'Oreal Facial Care, get back a $10 extra buck. I'm gonna grab one of these Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition's for $21.49. Then I'm going to grab one of these cleansers for $7.99. We're at $29.48 total. We have barely, again, reached that 98% rule. So I'm going to use a $7 L'Oreal Age Perfect CRT. I'm also going to be using a $6 off $24 L'Oreal CRT. Then I'm going to use this $4 manufacturer coupon from the 3-6 save. It did expire $3.19. And then for this other baby over here, I'm gonna use a $2 digital coupon that everybody got today. So we're gonna end up paying CVS about $10.50, getting our $10 extra buck final cost is 50 cents, but we've got $30 right here tracking towards that beauty event. So we will be getting back $3 in beauty rewards when the beauty event is over. And I will be submitting my receipt to coupons.com, hoping to get $2 back um, for our L'Oreal, but again, not a guarantee on that one. Garnier Fructis Hair Care, two for $7, buy two, get back a $2 extra buck. So this deals a limit of one per CVS account. However, I have a $4 off $14 Garnier Fructis Hair Care CRT. So I'm actually gonna do this deal twice on the same CVS account. So I'm doing it twice, but since it's a limit of one, I'm only gonna get my $2 and extra bucks back one time, but that's okay, they're gonna be free anyway. I was planning to grab four of these total. So doing the deal twice, grab four, and then use the 4014 CRT, and then two of these $5 off two printable coupons, again from Inbox Dollars. I'd pay zero 
getting back our $2 extra buck, those would be a $2 profit. But as you see, they only have three items. So we're gonna grab two of the masks and we're gonna use this $5 off two printable coupon. It did expire 326. Then I'm gonna be pairing in with this, just um, being regular schmegular down here, one shampoo, one conditioner. Um, and we're going to be using for those this $3 off two manufacturer coupon. It did expire three nineteen. I believe it's from the three six save if I'm not mistaken. So $14 total minus our four off 14 CRT minus our $5 printable coupon and our $3 newspaper coupon. We're going to pay $2, get our $2 back. Final cost is free. Plus we have 14 more dollars right here tracking towards the beauty event. So even though I'm using expired coupons on these items, you don't have to. We do have coupons in the 327 save insert. Um, we do have the $3 off two Garnier Fruit Teas right here. Now there is no $5 off two for the treats uh, mask, but you could use this $4 off two right here if you needed to. So in this transaction, we have our Fruit Teas, we have our L'Oreal, and we have our Garnier um, hair mask down here, and then our two Hallmark items. So everything went good, no issues at all. Um, digital coupon for the L'Oreal came off. Our CRTs all came off. We paid $12.75, you guys. $12.75 out of pocket, but we got back our $10 extra buck for the L'Oreal. And we also got back our $2 extra buck for the Garnier Fruit Teas. So everything right here ended up being 75 cents. Now we also have the $30 for the facial care tracking towards the beauty event. And we have $14 worth of hair care also tracking towards the beauty event. So if you want to factor that in, this is a great money maker. And I also submitted my receipt for an extra $2 back on coupons.com for the facial care. These higher end Crest toothpaste are $6.99 this week. Buy two, get back a $3 extra buck. And I don't have any CRTs to go with these. My CRT is like six off $25 crest and I'm just not gonna deal with that. I'm not dealing with it today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab two of them. I'm gonna be pairing these in with a $4 off $40 next purchase CRT. I'm gonna show you guys the deal for that here in a second. But we're gonna grab two. Um, we do have a $3 digital coupon that will attach to each one of these. We have two $3 digitals, but I used mine on my account um, last week, I think. So I'm just gonna use these two $3 newspaper coupons from the PNG insert and we're going to be getting back 50 cents on Ibotta for the Densify and also the professional 3D white but let me show you guys how we're going to incorporate these into the 4 off 40. So pairing in our crust $6.99 each we have our Clairol we're going to pair that in with the 4 off 40 and then our Colgate so all these items together equals $39.54 so we have reached the 98% rule to use that CRT. So we're gonna have our two $3 coupons for the Crest coming off. We're gonna have our $7.99 off two, buy one, get one free. Clairol coming off, glitching with the digital coupon on this account as well. Then we've got our $3 off two Colgate digital, glitching with our $1 paper coupon for the Colgate as well. So after all of our coupons and the 4 off 40 CRT, we're gonna pay $9.56. We're getting back a $4 extra buck here. We're getting a $4 extra buck back for our Colgate, and we're getting back $3 in extra bucks for our Crest deal, plus 50 cents for each one of our Crest on Ibotta. 12 bucks total coming back. We're paying a little bit under 10, but we're getting back 12. This is a hot money maker. So this transaction went fantastical. We've got like a $2.50 money maker, $2.50 profit. I rolled some extra bucks and then I put that, you know, 30 cents on the Flues gift card. Glitch confirmation again with the Clairol and glitch confirmation again with the Colgate. If you guys want me to do an early ad preview for next week, just the partial ad, this two page right here, let me know in the comments and I can try and do that for you guys. Oh, chocolate boost. Boy, how I have missed you. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna grab the boost deal. We are gonna get a glitch. I'm not gonna do this deal on all of my CVS accounts. Reason being, usually when we get boost digital coupons, we end up with two of them at some point at the same time on our CVS accounts. So that being said, I'm gonna do the boost deal on one of my CVS accounts, and then I'm gonna hold off on that digital coupon on my other two CVS accounts, hoping we're going to get another digital boost coupon at a later date, and then we'll have a double glitch at some point, and I will keep you guys updated on all of that, of course. So right now, we're gonna do the boost deal just once, $9.99 at my store. We're gonna grab four of them. They're buy one, get one half off. Buy four, get an $8 extra buck. Sometimes we have them buy one, get one half. Buy four, get a 10. Um, 
but I'm somebody that actually drinks Boost and I don't have any chocolate Boost left, so I don't mind paying a little bit for them if it's something that I actually utilize. So we're gonna grab four, four of them at buy one, get one half, regular price $9.99. We're at $29.96, I believe. That's a lot, you guys, $29.96. So we're gonna take off here a $5 off $25 Boost Nutritional Drinks CRT. That's gonna be coming off. And then I'm gonna be using two $4 off two Boost Manufacturer Coupons from the 3-6 Save. If you don't have these anymore, you can also use the ones from the 4-3 Save. And then we have popped up this morning a $4 off two Boost Digital Coupon. It's gonna glitch. So we're getting $5 off in CRTs and then $12 off worth of manufacturer coupons that includes the glitch. So we're gonna pay CVS $12.97, getting our $8 extra buck. Final cost for all four packs is $4.97. $4.97 is not bad when regular price is $10 a piece. Here is our boost receipt. We do have a glitch confirmation, of course, with our boost. We owed at $12.96. I just used $13 in extra bucks and I wasted four cents um, out of pocket. Not a big deal. We got back our $8 in extra bucks. I do want to let you guys know, make sure you use the boost coupons from the 4-3 save. I was going to use these. I didn't even read it, you guys. I just assumed it was $4 off two, but it's not. It's $4 off any one 12 to 24 pack. So don't use these from the 3-6 save. Use the coupons from the 4-3 save insert. Okay, family, we've got our final CVS haul right here. We did really good. I have a clearance find that my cashier just, just, just told me about. Um, value charger, it recharges your batteries. $5.69. From $22.79 to $5.69, I will be buying this. That's a great price on this, baby. Now, I don't have this calculated into my overall haul right here because I just found out about it. But here's our final haul. We do have a money maker. Let's bring out the couponing haul breakdown. I didn't have time, of course, to fill it all out, um, but we spent about 74 on beauty related items. So we will be getting back $6 in beauty bucks at the end of the beauty event. Um, I bought a $4.10. We got back 10 cents for the Clairol, any hair color, 10 cents for that. And then we got back our $3 for the Huggies and our dollar for the Crust. Then we got back about 200 on Fetch Rewards, coupons.com. Now, this is going to vary. I don't know if we're going to get any of this back, all of it or some of it. Up to $20 coming back on coupons.com app. PG every day, we got back 300 points, 50 points for each PNG item that we grabbed, which would be like the Gillette and the Crest items. And then I did get back $11.85 instantly into my Flues account because I grabbed three $10 CBS Flues gift cards. I used three vouchers on the Flues app bringing me back up to 35% and I use my Flues balance to pay, which gives you like a little bit extra cash back. So we got back $11.85 on the Flues app. If you guys still need to sign up for that, the link is in the description box below along with all the other rebate apps. So over here, haul retail value. This is a roundabout. I didn't do it down to the penny, but this is pretty close. $2.93. That's the sale price as well. That is the sale price for all these items. $2.93. My total, $11.85, getting back the $6 in beauty event money. $5.85 is my total. Now rebate money coming back, it's gonna vary because of the coupons.com money. So it's gonna go between $15.95, that includes the flus and the Ibotta. Um, on the low end, it's $15.95. On the high end, up to $35.95 in rebate money coming back. That makes our final haul between a $10 and $30 moneymaker. $10 to $30 moneymaker. You guys, we did really, really well, obviously. Um, if you guys want to grab this couponing haul breakdown, it is on the Etsy shop linked in the description box, or it's also linked on the Google Doc. I found this on the Tenna packs, you guys. What is this? Have you guys done anything with this? It was stickied on the Tenna um, incontinence supplies. So I'm going to have to check this out. I'm not sure what's going on with this, but I will check it out and I'll try and let you guys know over on the community tab. All right, family. So that is it for me for this week's overnight CVS haul. Let me know down in the comments what you plan to grab at CVS. Let me know how you think I did with my haul and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.